Hello, it is Foundation Friday, March 19th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and we are nearly at the end of the fantastic book in our multi-part series on the psychology of winning by Dr. Dennis Waitley, 10 qualities of a total winner. And today, as we finish chapter 10, this 10th quality relates to and activates all 10 of the qualities of a total winner in the book. So, so to review positive self-projection, winners practice positive self-projection. We project our best selves every day in the way we look, walk, talk, listen, and react. We specialize in truly effective communication. We take 100% of the responsibility not only for sending information or telling, but also for receiving information or listening for the real meaning from every person we contact. Winners are aware that first impressions are powerful and that interpersonal relationships can be won or lost in about the first four minutes of conversations. Winners say, I'll make them glad they talked with me. To a winner, you'll say, I like me best when I'm with you. Nothing marks a winner so clearly as a relaxed smile and a warm face that volunteers his or her own name while extending a hand to yours, looking directly into your eyes and showing interest in you by asking questions about your life, which are important to you. That, the first W in the WOW strategy, it's all about the who. Not all about you. Winners know that paying value to others is the greatest communication skill of all. A winner's self-talk is tell me what you want. Maybe we can work on it together. Losers, on the other hand, say there's no point in discussing it. We're not even on the same wavelength. Man, that uh, describes a whole lot of what's going on in social media uh, for the past uh, few years, does it not? So here are 10 action steps you can take to have more positive self-projection, and you might recognize a theme here. Each one is going to relate to one, each of the 10 qualities of a total winner that we've covered in this multi-part series on this great book, The Psychology of Winning by Dr. Dennis Waitley. Number one, po project positive self-awareness. Easy for me to say. Observe the wonder and abundance in nature and stop feeling sorry for yourself. If you're alive and you have some degree of good health, You've got it made. Try looking at yourself through others' eyes. Chapter two, project positive self-esteem. Get that deep down feeling of your own worth and pass it along to others. Talk yourself and others up. Chapter three was all about projecting, and this is about projecting, positive self-control. Project an image of responsibility by making your own luck through preparation and affirmative action taking. Chapter four, Positive self-motivation. Project that and motivate yourself and others by focusing on the rewards of success, forgetting the penalties of failure. Number five, project positive self-expectancy. Your enthusiasm will be wonderfully contagious and infect almost everyone it touches. Number six, project a positive self-image. Project your creative imagination and always present a positive preview of your coming attractions with vivid descriptions. And action step number seven for more positive self-direction is to project po uh, for more positive self-projection is to project positive self-direction. Put your own goals down on paper and then share them with those who can help you achieve them. Number eight, project positive self-discipline. Talk to yourself over and over again when you are relaxed, visualizing yourself in the act of enjoying and completing each of your current goals, then complete the projects that you begin. And action step number nine is to project positive self-dimension. Project yourself as a winner who creates other winners too. And finally, action step number 10 for more positive self-projection is to project positive self-projection. What do you know? Don't just read The Psychology of Winning as another book. Go out and do it. Speaking of which, go out and be back here next Foundation Friday for the wrap-up as we wrap it up on the fantastic classic book, The Psychology of Winning by Dr. Dennis Waitley. And let me know in a comment below, wherever you're watching this, reading it, listening to it, if you have a suggestion on what book you would like us to cover next in our next multi-part series, starting two Foundation Fridays from now. I'll pick another classic book for entrepreneurs and business owners. And we will dive into that in another multi-part series. But I'll be back here next Foundation Friday for the wrap-up 
on this classic, The Psychology of Winning. Speaking of which, being back here, I'll catch you back here tomorrow on Social Media Saturday. We have news on the social media front that will help you make more money in your business. I will see you then. Enjoy the rest of your day, and hopefully it's as beautiful out wherever you are. Catch you tomorrow. Over and out. Bye-bye.